The new Chainsaw Man movie is subject to all sorts of speculation. From the production conditions faced by the team and by the studio in general being awful, to a large number of core staff from the Chainsaw Man anime possibly leaving and working on other shows. No one knows what the Chainsaw Man anime will look like or who'll work on it. Except for Kazuta Kasugiyama. He loves that show way too much. Let's indulge in some good old speculation. Make sure to subscribe. As I previously mentioned, there are two main factors that can and will affect the movie. The schedule and the staff, or lack thereof. So, a brief recap is in order. Studio MAPPA doesn't operate as a single team. It has multiple production lines, each responsible for their own shows. Although this organization does fall apart every so often. The team responsible for Chainsaw Man is led by animation producer Keisuke Seishimo. And this team is also in charge of Jujutsu Kaisen. I have talked about the issues faced by this line in relative detail before. It's the usual stuff. Lack of time, episodes being finished at the last possible second them having to juggle two high-profile shows at the same time with no buffer in between, it's a mess. Since good animation is a major selling point for Chainsaw Man, we can assume that the movie will be another high-profile project produced by Seishimo. Naturally, I am concerned. Not about the movie itself, it'll probably look great. It's a film production, meaning the deadlines will be a bit more lenient. I am concerned about the effect the movie will have on upcoming projects like Jujutsu Kaisen Season 3. The Seishimo team has adopted this one-season-one movie model for the time being, and the movie part of this equation tends to influence the subsequent TV anime in a negative manner, which in turn affects the project that follows. You can, to a degree, excuse the mismanagement faced by Jujutsu Kaisen. You can't, but bear with me. Companies like Toho are involved in the decision-making process. Maybe MAPA couldn't negotiate a favorable contract, but the same can't be said for Chainsaw Man. The show was fully produced by the studio. They had complete control over every step, but they decided to rush it anyway. And I am fairly certain that the same thing will happen with the movie. The cracks will be less visible because of the shorter runtime, but the production will be a mess. Why am I so confident? Because they announced it despite not having any actual material. Meaning they plan on finishing this project as soon as possible and moving on to the next thing. That's what they've been doing for a while. So then, why do these shows look so good, albeit inconsistent? Because they throw talent at these projects and brute force their way through. Gather half the industry, put them through miserable conditions where they can't complete their cuts, hire an entire army of second key animators to clean up their unfinished work, and repeat. That's the production model. This was the only concerning aspect for a while, but recently another issue has popped up. That is, staff departure. Probably. Just to reiterate, these are speculations. Don't think of this as gospel truth. People predict stuff all the time, and even the ones who know what they are talking about can be wrong. Let's start from the top. Chainsaw Man series director Ryu Nakayama has left the project and started his own studio called Andraft. Again, his departure hasn't been confirmed. He didn't come out and say it as far as I know, but it's a safe assumption. Nakayama is a controversial figure. He was responsible for the cinematic approach the show took. Personally, I loved everything about that style, but my opinion is irrelevant. Fact is, Nakayama's departure will most likely bring about a massive stylistic overhaul. So, then who will direct the movie? Well, there are a few obvious contenders, or at least there were. Chainsaw Man had two main directors, Ryo Nakayama and Tatsuya Yoshihara. Yoshihara was the action director. Naturally, many assumed he'd take over the role of series director following Nakayama's departure. Well, no, we were wrong. Yoshihara is directing his own show, Vistoria Wand and Sword, a series written by the author of Dan Machi. So, I don't think he'll be the one directing Chainsaw Man. Although, never underestimate Yoshihara's ability to overwork himself. I think he will participate, but I doubt he'll take over the directorial duties, especially because he's heavily involved with Vistoria. He's credited as the director, scriptwriter, and series composer for the show, which is set to air in the summer of this year. This rules out both the series director and the action director. But hey, the show had a stacked lineup of episode directors, Maybe one of them can take over. 
The same thing happened with Jujutsu Kaisen. Season 1 director Sangu Park left to create his own studio, just like Nakayama, and one of the episode directors, Shotago Shizono, took over. Well, it's hard to tell. Maybe some of them will pitch in as unit directors for the movie, but this part of the staff list isn't immune to the people working on other show syndrome either. There's Makoto Nakazono. He worked on three different episodes as a director and or a storyboard artist, and he is currently directing his own show, Oblivion Battery, alongside Chainsaw Man color designer Naomi Nakano. She's the color designer for Solo Leveling, and Yoshihara's Vistoria as well. Episode director Shune no Kido is currently directing the Fate Strange Fake anime alongside Takahito Sakazume, and episode director Shotago Shizono is in charge of Jujutsu Kaisen. Then there's Hironori Tanaka. He did very little for JJK Season 2, despite being heavily involved with Season 1 and the movie. But ever since Chainsaw Man wrapped up, he has shown up on 12 different anime and a I'm not making this up. He's the guy who shows up everywhere. It's safe to assume that these episode directors won't work as much or at all on the Chainsaw Man sequel. What about the character designers? Chainsaw Man had two of them, Kazutaka Sugiyama and devil designer Kiyotaka Oshiyama. Sugiyama will work on Chainsaw Man, it's his favorite, but Oshiyama probably won't as he's directing, designing the characters and making the screenplay for his own movie, an adaptation of Chainsaw Man author Tatsuki Fujimoto's look back. So, to sum it up, who'll work on the Chainsaw Man movie? I have no idea. The fact that they didn't announce the staff means they probably don't have a clue either. I mean, I'm sure they do, but the mental image of Manabu Otsuka running around trying to find a director is really funny to me. At the very least, we can expect a change in style. And I'm sure some of you would love that. But here's the thing. From a production POV, sequels have a distinct advantage. The designs are already there, the visual identity has already been established, and the staff has gotten used to the show. This familiarity reduces the amount of time needed for the planning process. But a style shift means these aspects would need to be redone, further burdening the team. The Seishimo line needs to drop one of these shows, which it won't. This is purely a personal opinion, but I hate the fact that Chainsaw Man puts Jujutsu Kaisen in a tough position. As someone who likes JJK several orders of magnitude more than CSM, it's very annoying. So if they had to drop a show, which they won't, I hope it's Chainsaw Man. That was a joke for the most part. Regardless, quite excited for the movie, hoping for the best and preparing for the worst. That's about it. Liked the video? Check out this other bit of content on screen. Like and subscribe. And until next time.